The other side. Time. In the box. Nazarene cuts back. Pena. That's what we deserve. Come on, boys. Come on. And their Brazilian playmaker after his persistence in the first half. And hold on a second. Just off. The play here, no problem, perhaps Jack. a no second problem. yellow well for John Aloisi. Well done. well done. Wow, what a turn of events at Amy Park. Well, Big Brother used to win the backyard bragging rights, but a lot has changed since then. It's history in the making as the Aloisi boys go head to head for the very first time. Once that whistle goes, we want our team to win. And whether it was playing against each other in the backyard or, you know, when I was playing for the Mariners against Wellington Phoenix when Ross was there, we want to win. And off the ball, there's been a pretty heavy collision between the two Aloysis. And this is sibling rivalry at its best. That's a good start to that contest. I must have bumped him before, but I didn't even realise. And then two seconds later, I get a hit at the back and I go flying and I'm going to get angry and I, I look up and it's Ross, you know. <laughs> I'm not a, an aggressive person by nature, but I, I can become aggressive, but I'm a very, very uh, happy person. People don't realise, but John's my best friend. We've got three sisters and, and we're all very close as well. There's vintage, this one. <laughs> when he used to come back from overseas on his break and he'd have to leave, like, I'd cry for days. I'd miss him that much. I probably don't miss him <laughs> that much nowadays. Looch, you reckon they're going like that? I used to kick him a lot in the backyard, probably just for fun as well. Huh? But then he started kicking me back, and I knew that, that he was uh, gonna, gonna be something different. Hey, everyone from the start, and I mean from the start of the warm up, you're focused. Plenty of talk. Come on, you're prepared. I told you, you're prepared. We're on. Ross is three years older than, than I am. He was always better than me. Physically stronger, more developed in terms of his technique in, in everything he did, but that made me work extra hard because I wanted to beat him. And that came from my dad because my dad never used to let us win at anything. <laughs> he made us competitive, that's, that's for sure. You know, he had to learn how to win. It was never given to you and, and hard work is the only way you succeeded. And that was his philosophy and, and still is today. He was a hard coach to play under. I played under him when I was in the under 14s and 15s. I remember when he dropped me once and I was disappointed and he said, well, you have to be better than the others. You have to work harder than the others. Give everything you've got, the winning, fighting mentality that we have, which we call the Queenslander mentality, and we've spoken about it since day one. It's a never say die attitude. You fight to the very end. Work ethic's number one. I can't accept when my team doesn't play well and loses because of it got too hard for some players. Don't get anxious. No part of the game you get anxious, boys, because they will give you chances right to the end. So you have to believe right to the end in our way and stick together all the way. Come on, boys, good luck. In terms of the way that we like our football be played is, is very similar. Very rarely that we were in disagreement of, you know, the way we want football to be played or see football being played. Let's start fast. Be confident. Play without fear. Be brave. Be brave on the ball. Move the ball quick. If you move the ball quick against them, you'll open them up. Come on, boys, let's go. I'm not too bothered about players making mistakes within the way that you want to play, if it's positive. Sometimes it depends on, you know, the situations, how things are going, but they always have to be working hard for each other and that, that group, that togetherness is so important for me. In the Isuzu Tunnel Cam for the first competitive edition of the Aloisi Derby. See you after. I won't speak to you after the game because one of us will be upset, so. Yeah. <laughs> John versus Ross, two former Socceroos, two brothers, as Western United host the Brisbane Roar. He understands the game really well. Tactically, very switched on. He can read the game during the game. And now he's forging his own career as a head coach, and he's, he started off really well. Jay O'Shea standing up and burying it. And Brisbane Roar hit the front. The, the number one thing that, that stands 
that's always in my mind. You know, his, his work ethic is hard. He's, he's a very, very hard worker. Hey, just wait, wait. Yeah, now to the ball. So his mental strength is is uh, something that I really admire. It's a lot better than mine, that's for sure. You know, especially when we were playing. The Brazilian buries it. He gets his goal this time. Daniel Pena can celebrate once more. His first for the club. His Wales standing over the corner. Delivering towards that back post and it's headed in. And what a moment, a captain's goal for Josh Risden. They hit the front. The dying moments now. His freak, acting playmaker. Delight for John Aloisi in the stands. And he gets the bragging rights over his brother. As John Aloisi joins us now. You spent the rest of the game in the stands, but John, the bragging rights at Christmas lunch will be pretty sweet, I would think. Yeah, I don't think my brother will invite me over for Christmas. Uh, it, was, it was a bit heated, wasn't it? Yeah, look, it was uh, an important game of football for us. Uh, I know you guys want to play it up between being an emotional and whatnot, but it was a, a game of football that I have to take responsibility that um, you know, my team didn't win this game um, and didn't play anywhere near to our best. My dad coached for over 30 years, if not longer. My brother and myself, it's in our blood. We got what we deserved tonight, because you showed, even 1-0 down, things going against you, you kept going. You kept on playing our football right to the end, and you got what you deserved. This is a start. We're building. We're building. Like our club, we're still building. Football's in our blood. We're so passionate about it. We love the game, and, and we know the, you know, the highs and lows that can come with it. 